This is a Gathering History Project podcast recorded in the Louth County Museum in Dundalk, Ireland. And then my my mum and dad moved to Hyde Park. Hyde Park was just built in 1937. I was born in 1938. My father came from Mary Street North. My mother came from Barrick Street. They moved down when my uh, my, my next brother was uh, born to Hyde Park but I stayed with my grandmother and gradually my mother had five boys and I just stayed with my grandmother so I grew up in Barrack Street and Hyde Park from one house to the other so that's 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 where I was born that's where I come from. What is your memories of growing up in Dundalk? Every every Wednesday night that's how I got out you see to play. We played on the street and one of the awful things we did we went down to the quay they used to slaughter the, the, the sheep then I shouldn't be telling you this they used to slaughter the sheep by hanging them up and cutting their throats. Well, we didn't have a television or radio, so it was one form of amusement. And I remember my grandmother coming after me one night and hauling me home. It was a funny old beggar, my grandmother. She was from the west of Ireland. I'll get you to England before I die. You don't want to be here because your mother will have you looking after all those boys. And you don't want to be doing that. You want to be doing th- And she had it, in, I had it in my head. So I went over to live with my Auntie Eileen and very sadly, three weeks later, my grandmother died and that still affects me. I go out to the graveyard, I was there yesterday, and I talked to her. She reared me, no doubt. I could read before I went to school and I could add up and do sums before I went to school. We had, all we had was gaslight and a lamp. And I read the Bible before I was six. Now, I'm not very religious and I couldn't tell you what the Bible says, but it was reading matter. And if it was the written word, I was there. A, a pen and paper mean, m- meant more to me than anything else. I joined the library in the old sea town, the old library, at the age of six. Did you ever think, Eileen, or did you ever promote through your music, now, for want of a better word, I'm saying this, the pigs in the kitchen leprechaun Ireland? No. Ireland is a very cultural society. I've and were you conscious of that? Yes, and if anybody said anything to me, they were left in no doubt as to what Ireland was about. Oh, I've had my moments when, you know, somebody would say something, I, c- I can't recall it now because they'll get a very big put down from me. The, f- the, the thing they had of the Irish drunks and the pigs in the kitchen, they wouldn't be getting that from me. They would get it, I would tell them straight what Ireland is. And I have to say that nobody's ever tried to put me down. But no, I won't hear a word against that. I will, if I have anything to say about Ireland, I've got a right to say it because I'm Irish. I loved coming home and when my mother was alive I came home of course a lot more. My mother had a dance band in the 30s so I grew up on big band sounds and then as the country and Irish came in I, I, I came into that, I came into my own in that and for 20 years I formed a um, little country and Irish trio for the weddings, the f- no not the funerals, oh I did play the funeral, yes I did, I did pl- um, for an Irish lady from Donegal, it was a very good friend of Daniel O'Donnell, her relations came from far and wide and they said will you take your keyboard to the wake and just play for 10 minutes, well that 10 minutes went into te- 22 hours and they had great fun and that was a celebration of her life which was wonderful, all the Daniel O'Donnell songs were sung all the Brendan Shine songs, Hugo Duncan. It was great. I love I love country and Irish. Help us make history by visiting our website on www.gatheringhistory.com.